friends, it's Tori with Fox and Hazel again, and I'm super excited to be back with a fun sort of process video, I guess, tutorial, <laughs> however you want to view it. So today I'm doing a super, well, not super simple, I guess like it seems really basic, but it's a really bold page. Um, I'm working in my black art journal. Um, this is actually an old like photo album I got from a friend through like a craft swap. And so it's one of those old ones where you would put uh, like photo corners and like stick your pictures in. So I've been dying for a black art journal forever. And so this was a free one and it's been awesome. I've probably had it for like a year and a half now and it works great. So here I am just laying down my background. And so what I've done is put some uh, white gesso down and now I'm filling it in with some greens because I'm going for sort of like a jungle vibe. If you didn't already know from the uh, title of the video. <laughs> so I'm just covering up because my plan is to put a whole bunch of like leaves here. And so I don't want the background to be black. I want it to be green to sort of give the illusion that there's more going on behind. I don't know. I never go into these things with much of a plan. I mean, like I had a general idea in my head what I thought I was going to do, but I'm just going for it here. I'm using a few different shades of green. I've got hooker's green, um, I believe it was like light green permanent and a fallow yellow green. And so what I've done before I filmed this is I've used some stencils and stenciled out some leaves in different shades of green. And here I have its um, woodland leaves by Jennifer Evans, I believe it was. And then this is Roxanne Cobble's wolf stencil. And then um, Ray Missigan's um, pickleweed mini. Um, so I stenciled all those in different shades of green, as you can see, and then cut, fussy cutted them all out so they're, you know, individual. And then I used the um, stars inspired by Matisse by uh, Carolyn Dubé and stenciled out some leaves in like a navy and black. And same thing, fussy cutted those out so that they're their own little, you know, collage elements. And so um, my plan here is what I wanted to do was... Um, put all the leaves at the bottom in sort of like a collage to give it like a jungle feel. I had seen, I can't remember who it was on Instagram and it was a woman who makes um, like photo backdrops and she had done this beautiful one for a wedding where the entire backdrop was paper leaves, like jungle leaves. So it looked like this very lush jungle garden, but it was all um, paper. She'd hand cut everything and they were huge. You know, she made a leaf that would be like three feet big because it was this massive photo backdrop and it was gorgeous. And so I'd seen that and thought, oh man, I want something, you know, something similar or like that kind of vibe in my art journal pages. So that's where I got the inspiration for my, my little jungle theme here. And so um, what I've done is actually um, the black cardstock. Um, what I did first is I actually stenciled it in white gesso first and then went back over it with my greens because obviously it's not going to show up like you know a light green's not going to show up on a black cardstock <laughs> so that's a good way to kind of get that contrast which i am obsessed with because i love high contrast everything and so now i'm just using some matte medium to glue down uh, my pages or sorry my leaves on my uh pages here and I'm going to be really honest with you, I think the remaining or like the next however many minutes of this video is just an endless video of me gluing down leaves onto this page. This isn't really like I would call a super technical page, I guess, in that, you know, there isn't a ton of layers. There isn't um, a ton of different techniques in it, but sometimes the best pages are ones that you know, you go in with a single method and you just do it and it comes out really bold and striking. And as I mentioned before, I like high contrast stuff and I like bold. And so this page to me, even though it's more simple compared to a lot of my other work, I still find it to be really satisfying and I loved the end result of it. And sometimes it's fun just to glue stuff down, right? Like people always talk about they used to have glue books which I've never had, but I wish I'd had as a kid where you just cut stuff out and glue it down. 
I mean, who here has had one before? If you have one, leave one in the comments. If you did something like that, or like if you were a journaler and started gluing things into your diaries as a kid or whatever, there's something super satisfying about just cutting stuff up and gluing it down. You can kind of do it almost a bit mindlessly too. You know, um, I find that I like to do this mm, type of art journaling if I'm like watching TV. I like doing um, like collage stuff like this where it's cutting and gluing or um, art journaling that's just mark making with different pens. Because then A, it's portable. I can do it while I'm watching a show. And then also you can kind of not have to think about it too much. You can sort of doing it, do it while you're doing whatever. I've also gotten my children into my art journaling. They are um, five, three and a half and nine months, but my five-year-old is super, super into collaging right now. She loves, I mean, it's probably because she's just like mastered scissors. And so she loves cutting stuff up and then getting to glue it in and then doodling all over it. And so this is also a really great um, method you can use if you want to get your kids into art journaling. Um, I know maybe if they're like really young, it's hard. You know, if it was like toddler, kind of preschool, it's a little trickier. My three-year-old is not as much fun to do this stuff with, but it's really fun to do with my five-year-old. And she really likes it, which is good. You know, any way I can sneak in some art making alongside my kids, I am totally there for. So, also I used matte medium here, which I recommend. Um, you could also use a uh, double-sided tape. You could use you could use a glue stick, but I find cardstock and glue sticks really don't play well together. I feel like it makes the page want to curl instantly, and then you're sitting there forever holding it down. And then I always come back and have to re-glue it down anyways because it, an edge is curled or something like that. So matte medium works great. If you don't have matte medium, if you want to use like Mod Podge, that works great too. White glue you could try as long as you use it the same way where you're coating um, underneath and then sealing it with the glue. That would work too. I do find though that white glue leaves a sheen on the page. There is a bit of one for the matte medium here, but it's not as um, obvious as white glue because it doesn't dry shiny. The matte medium dries matte. Fancy that. So yeah. So basically I just, I'm intuitively putting down um, leaves and vines where I feel like it. There's really no wrong way to go about this. You know, I think I filmed this at, you know, like 8.30, 9 o'clock in the morning while my baby slept. So. I may have been half asleep while I was doing this, <laughs> which is good because like I said, it's a little bit mindless, which I like, you know, especially when you're not really awake and as you can see, I'm still drinking coffee off to the side there. So embrace your laziness, if you will. Actually, you know what? The gluing part was the easy part. I'm going to be honest. This, I guess I'm not showing is when I stenciled all of these lovely pieces out and then hand cut them all out. I think I spent forever watching YouTube videos and cutting out all these leaves. So I'm making it sound like it's like super easy, but I guess the prep work, which I'm not showing, actually took quite a bit longer. So, but you know, the, the beauty of it is if you wanted to, you could sort of like, I have way more here than I ended up using because I sort of filled my stash. So a great way to have stuff on hand is to maybe like spend one day um, stenciling a whole bunch of stuff out on like a bunch of different pieces of paper and then cutting it all out so that when you go to art journal you already have those elements out you don't have to go oh you don't have to pull out the stencils and then stencil them there and then wait for them to dry and cut them out you already have them on hand but I've been doing this a lot lately and it makes it especially if you know if you're someone like me who I have small children and I get to work in these small pockets of time that I don't I hate wasting it waiting for things to dry that having these pre-stenciled and cut out elements makes it so much quicker to do a page when I only have you know 15 minutes or half an hour and I'm not waiting for all these uh, stencils to dry and then wasting my time cutting them all out because it takes forever like they're cool but they take forever to cut out so it's kind of easier to sort of like batch make them and then have them on hand instead of making them for every page that I go through. And so 
I decided to put these stars on here and you can see I was sort of um, bending them because when I stenciled it, it made the paper curl um, from the paint drying on the one side of the paper. So I just sort of bent them, I guess, if you will, the other way. And so I took it off and went and dried it with my heat gun which was, which is in my ensuite because my office is a loft on our second floor and it is outside of my kids' room. And so I have to use my heat gun in my ensuite in a closed room with a door so it doesn't wake my kids up when they're napping. So I ran off to my bathroom to dry the map medium. And now I'm using my favorite white gel pen, which is the Uniball Signo Broad and adding some more stars and embellishments to kind of I wanted like a jungle at night so this is the night sky I'm sort of emulating here and this is my favorite gel pen I know everybody swears by their own but I was a jelly roll user and I hated them because they just they never seem to work for me I can never get them to write they always just want to clog up and like I like them though because they're so fine tipped but I can never get the white ones to work and just the white ones because I have a bunch of the other ones and they work great, but just the white ones drive me nuts. So I've been converted to a Signo Broad user and I love it. So I'm just going through the leaves and just adding some more details and embellishments on here. You know, just to add a little bit more interest, if you will. Like I said, this is a pretty, uh, not basic, but just I didn't really want to, you know, I wasn't in the mood to create something that had a million layers and tons and tons of tiny itty bitty detail. And so it was a great way to make a page, but not have to wait for things to dry necessarily. And it kind of came together quick and I didn't have to spend a really long time on it. Like I think this whole, oh, sorry, there's my big, my big fat head in the way, which I didn't notice till just now. <laughs> so, but yeah this is an easy page that came together really quick so thanks so much for watching you guys and um yeah let me know in the comments what your inspiration is lately what's what's getting you going and what's what, what do you want to make what have you seen that you want to replicate so i hope you guys will join me in the comments let me know thanks so much guys Bye bye